Hey everyone, good evening. Um, wanted to do a quick video of what I keep in my Festool toolbox. Um, I got this as part of uh, when I bought the sustainer installer set. Um, it, it came with it. Uh, I didn't think I was going to actually end up liking it. I've never been interested in buying it, you know, by itself, but it came with it. So I've actually ended up really enjoying it. Uh, it's come in handy. Um, I put all of my, what I, you know, everyday carry whatever you want to call it um some of my most used tools in it and it's they're easy to get to i can throw it in my truck uh take it you know to go and do a handyman chore whatever the case may be i've always got this toolbox handy and so far it's got everything that uh that i could have um needed so i was going to go through the tools that i keep in it and uh we'll go from there okay folks so here is these the the uh, festival sustainer toolbox um it might remind you of your grandfather's fishing tackle box at least it did for me um but again i'm surprised how much i actually ended up liking it i never was going to buy it by itself but since it came in the set obviously i'm i'm giving it a go and uh i actually really like it now that i've got everything set up the way that i like it so for me what works is i'll just go through some some of the items that I that I keep in it. Uh, first in this big compartment is my uh, Nipex 8701 180 uh, water pump pliers. These are fantastic. I love these things. I don't really go anywhere without at least one set of these. Um, super high quality, made in Germany. Uh, very, very good, good set of pliers. Uh, got some Simpson, oops, Simpson hollow wall anchors. These are really, really nice. I think they hold about 100 pounds per. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I've never had a failure with these for anything that I've tried to to, to hang up with them. And I also keep the bolts uh, with them in the same little compartment. Uh, just some, I think these are Sea Striker, just needle nose pliers. Can't ever go wrong with some, having some needle nose pliers. Uh, regular crescent wrench mini crescent wrench uh some wire snips uh, i'm always using wire ties so these are um the flush cut so th those cut are real nice nothing special i think i got these on amazon eigen's the brand but uh they get the job done really well and then just your micro uh ratchet i guess uh this one's nothing special. It's got a little quarter in the bottom that you, you can use if you want, but I think this was like 15 bucks on Amazon. Where and Weha make one, but I'm not going to spend, I think, 25, 30, 35 bucks for those guys. I think this was 10, 10 or 15 maybe. And uh, it works when you're in a jam, when you got to get something in, you know, real tight. You don't have a lot of room. This works nice, but, you know, again, nothing special, but uh, it has worked for me. So I do, I do keep it in here. Um, those back uh, over here i've got my stabila level uh this is the pocket pro i you know obviously this isn't big enough to keep up you can probably put a nine inch uh level in here but i found that this is more than adequate um you know if you're just resetting a picture putting a resetting an outlet box or something just put it on top and these stabilas are so so accurate um this is going to get it close enough for you uh and it's got a magnetic base so that you know you can put it on a, on a metal stud whatever the case may be but uh these are really really nice and i actually got this on sale uh amazon was having some kind of deal for stabila i think this was like 20 bucks when i got it so i went ahead and picked it up and then all these compartments i just have miscellaneous uh, wood screws some more hollow wall anchors some cabinet screws different sizes um always replacing knobs or putting new knobs on uh, so i keep all the different different size machine screws in there and then in this one i've got a couple of rare, rare earth magnets which didn't like my screws <laughs> these things are strong obviously but down here i've got and i love these i use these all over my house but these are uh, wire tie cable harnesses essentially so you put a screw in here screw it to the wall and then you can thread your wire tie through here to clamp it down and these things aren't going anywhere i love these things i've got hundreds in another box of these because i use them so much um, 
and also guys the, all of these top compartments in here they all are interchangeable so you can you've got these small ones you know you can take these out you can move this middle one around uh you can replace you know you can set it up however you want it or you can just simply not use any of them and have one big opening um it's it's obviously to your liking but this is how it's worked for me um so on, on this side i've got my klein nut driver this thing's huge but uh it's got pretty much every size nut that you can uh, ever need um but i do have to keep it broken down to fit in here but this thing's this thing's amazing i, I love this thing and then i've got a couple of wira bit drivers this is the 816r and this is the little brother the 813 uh, the bigger one's got a locking collet put your your bit in there and it's going to stay put this one's just magnetic but this gets into really nice tight spaces um i put a lot of uh allen bits in here when i'm putting together you know i last time i think i had to use this i was putting together a uh a, a tv mounting uh bracket for my sister and of course every screw is is a uh i think it was like a i can't remember the size allen but you know they give you the little allen key and it was just a pain so i got the, the right bit put it in here and it went a lot faster um then you know your standard i think 12 and one uh this is greenly screwdriver and i've got my magnetic tool picker upper this actually comes in very very handy unfortunately and then and this is just i use this is a nice pick but i actually use this as a uh, center punch uh, works out fantastic. I use these when I'm putting in, uh, cabinet pulls, uh, you know, indent where I'm going to drill and then it screws together. These things are nice. I think these were, I got a pair of them on Amazon for 10 bucks. Then over here in this counter, counter, uh, storage unit, I've got some super glue, some, uh, blue thread locker, got some gorilla glue, Got a little pair of uh, latex gloves. Got some lighters. Keep a roll of electrical tape and a little uh, old credit card. I wrap duct tape around. Uh, and then of course, you know your your marks all. You can't go anywhere. I'm sorry, inks all. Can't go anywhere without those things. Uh, those are great if you haven't used them. These Milwaukee inks alls. They mark on on everything and really fine sharp line. Those are great markers. A uh, little spool of micro paracord, and then a calculator down there. And then you can open this up and get to the middle section. Um, so this section, it's a long, it's a funny story how I came to to own all of these little micro sustainers, but um, they actually come in really handy, and I found good use for them because they fit perfectly inside these toolboxes. So this first one, I've got all of my quarter inch drivers. So all of my, you know, my bit drivers for my drill. So all different kinds. Um, nothing really special there, but that's just how I store them. I keep them, keep them all together. Uh, let's see, what's this one? And then this one, you've got all my metric nut drivers. Uh, I use these all the time. So I've got a set of metric and I've got a set of standard uh, separated. But this is my metric nut driver. Uh, here I just keep a small little uh, little flashlight if I ever need it. Uh, this is the uh, Olight 3T EOS. So it's just a little push pin light. Uh, really nice. Dual, dual action belt, uh, belt clip so you can actually put it on the brim of your hat if you want or stick it in your pants. And I got four AAA batteries in this, in this sustainer keep it handy. And then I've got all of my drill bits. So actually I've got a couple of countersinks, I got a step drill bit, and then just a few of my most commonly used drill bits that I use when I'm putting in uh, cabinets or or uh, cabinet pulls, whatever the, whatever the case may be. These are, these are the ones that I use the most. Um, so it's not a lot, but it usually gets me uh, what I need out of this little tiny, tiny set. And this one, I've got my uh, torch drivers and my standard sockets. So 
I use, it seems like I use Torx more than any other <laughs> bit, it seems like. So I've got a set of nice uh, Torx impact ready uh, drivers in here that I use all the time. Uh, then I got another bundle of just small zip ties. Uh, this one, let's see, I keep all my straight razors in here uh, and uh, another scraper, but that's where I keep all my razors out of the way and then just a simple little magnetic uh, bit holder storage um, th this is supposed to be magnetic uh, I don't know it kind of is um, I wouldn't trust my life on it but it was just a cheap find from from Amazon and it fits in here nice so and it keeps them fairly organized so I, I go ahead and use that and then just some 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 synthetic synthetic shims guys put them back in here these always come in handy uh in fact i just used two of them a couple days ago so i got to replace them but uh i keep these in here you never know when you're going to need them and they're good to have uh, over here i got my ryobi uh screw gun basically is all it is it's okay i mean it if you're lazy and don't feel like uh hand hand screwing something this is nice So I keep that in there. Keep my uh, fast cap tape in here. I love these fast cap tapes. Uh, I, I think they're 10 bucks a piece and I've got probably 15 of these things. And I, I, I compare these to my woodpecker rules when I get them to make sure that they're, they're accurate. And I've yet to have a tape that, that I could tell was off. They've always been really, really accurate. So I like these. Here I've got my Franklin sensor stud finder. Uh, these things I think are the best. Um, there's no edge. You don't have to find the edge. All you do is, is squeeze the button, run it across the wall, and wherever those red lights are, there's going to be wood behind it. So generally, the center red light is going to be the center of your stud. Mark it, drill it, and you're good to go. So these things are, 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 are great. I've got a bigger one that I use um, for my home, but this is great little, little more compact version of it, but it still works just the same. Um, so the, the, these are great. Then I've got my Bosch laser distance finder. I love these things too. Uh, I just find them really, really useful for getting quick measurement, you know, uh, distance room measurements, wall measurements, floor to ceiling measurements, doing crown. You can get, get a quick, pretty, pretty good ballpark of your total square footage of, of crown that you're going to need if you go to each corner and, and, and you know, shoot it. Um, it's a lot quicker and easier than, than trying to use a tape, in my opinion. i got a deck of cards here. I use these for shims, too. Um, I always carry a deck of cards with me. Always very, very useful. Here I've got my, this is uh, the metric Allen key set always using these and the other side I've got the same same deal you just got your standard metric metric key I can get it out so same deal but just your standard sizes and then I've got my of course my work pro uh, box cutter knife so it fits right back in there uh, a little stubby one little stubby screwdriver I haven't really used this a whole lot, but I keep it in here. Uh, the top one screws, and you can, it's got some bit storage up there. Uh, don't really use this a whole lot, like I said, but I, I keep it in here because it never fails. As soon as I take it out, I'm going to need it, so I keep it in there. But anyway, guys, <coughs> excuse me, this is kind of my setup, and this is what's gotten me through a lot of, a lot of you know, little odds and end jobs that, that I've come across. So... If you guys have any questions about anything that you see here, uh, shoot me a comment. Let me know, and I'll try to try to try to answer you. Um, but other than that, guys, this is my little Festool toolbox, and I've actually really enjoyed it. So now I'm even thinking about picking up another one. Uh, but until then, you guys have a good night.